In this movie, I'll use the Fraction Kit to explore adding fractions. Let me start by adding two-thirds and a quarter. Here are the two-thirds in orange and one-quarter is in yellow. Quarters and thirds are a different size, so they can't be added directly. We need to change both into suitable equivalent fractions. And looking at these two denominators, 3 and 4, suggests that a denominator of 12 would be suitable for both. And the reason I want to choose 12 is because it is divisible by both 3 and 4. Now from this drop-down menu, I can see some of the fractions equivalent to 2 thirds. There's 4 sixths, 8 twelfths and 16 twenty-fourths. But I'll choose this one, 8 twelfths. And you can see that here are the 8 twelfths shown in light blue. And now the 1 quarter fraction. Again, the drop down menu shows a selection of simple equivalent fractions for a quarter. There's 2 eighths, 3 twelfths and 6 twenty-fourths. And to match the other fraction, I'll choose twelfths, that's 3 twelfths. And now the two fractions are based on the same size of slice and I know that because they're the same colour. Now I can add them. They add to 11 twelfths and that's the answer. Here's another question, a half and three eighths. Looking at the two denominators, they are two and eight. A suitable common denominator would be 8. So all I have to do is to change the half. And I'll change it to 4 eighths to match the other fraction. As before, the same colour means that we have the same size of slice, dark blue for eighths. So now with all the slices in eighths, I can add them. And the answer is 7 eighths. Here's the final example, 1 sixth plus 3 quarters. The two denominators here are 6 and 4. So both of these will divide into 24. But actually I don't need a number as big as that because both will divide into a smaller number, 12. So rather than use 24 fourths, I'll use the smallest denominator that I can get away with, which in this case is 12. 1 sixth becomes 2 twelfths and 3 quarters becomes 9 twelfths. All the slices are light blue, so I can add them. And there's the answer, 11 twelfths. By the way, if I had used 24 fourths, let's see what would have happened. 1 sixth would have become 4 24 fourths and 3 quarters would have become 18 24 fourths. All the slices are purple, the same colour, so I can add them. And clicking add, I get the answer 22 24 fourths. But I can reduce this fraction to a simpler form by dividing top and bottom by 2. It brings it down to 11 twelfths, which is the same answer as before.